The NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series race has officially concluded from Darlington Raceway and was looking like a pretty compelling and exciting finish near the end. Turned out to be a complete terrible calls by officiating and kind of a bad finish to the truck race. What's going on, guys? It's Daniel, and welcome back to our video. I just got done watching NASCAR Truck Series race from Darlington to Raceway, the buckle off South Carolina 200. We have quite a bit to talk about from this race. So let's go ahead and talk about it. So, for the green flag drop in today's race, only one truck had to go to the rear, and that was Chris Wright for unapproved adjustments, and Colby Hour also had to start the rear because he was not able to qualify. So, at the start of the race, you have know, Corey Heim lead the field from the outside with Grant Infinger on the inside, and Corey Heim was able to get a really, really strong run and was able to clear for the race lead. Then, Ty Majeski was not having a really strong run, had a terrible start at the beginning. He radioed into he was, was having a major power steering failure and was starting to have some major, major issues. Then on lap 20, we saw Brennan Poole basically go to the garage with some sort of issue. He had some damage on the front of the truck and was having low air pressure, no oil pressure, and was having major, major issues. And unfortunately, he went to the garage. The had a really strong battle for the race lead between Christian Eckes and Corey Heim. And then Christian Eckes was able to basically pass Corey Heim for the race lead. And Christian Eckes was able to pull away from Corey Heim by about two or three seconds. And he would come off the corner and win stage number one. Then we saw Ty Majeski come down the road early to work on the power steering issue, but then eventually he went to the garage to fix the steering box. So all the up cars then would come down pit road with Christian Eckes winning the race off pit road, and Fortune Park Kurgerman would go to the garage. So on the next restart, Christian Eckes lead the field from the outside with Corey Heim on the inside, and Corey Heim was able to get a really strong restart and was able to clear for the race lead. As I just said a second ago, a few laps later, <coughs> Ty Majeski would go to the garage to replace the steering box. And then we saw Matt Benedetto, who was one of the fastest trucks near the end. In fact, probably the fastest truck near the end of stage one. He unfortunately had a fuel pickup issue, but he was able to continue going. But unfortunately, this took him out of contention. Then basically, William Byron's truck really started coming in. And basically, Byron passed Christian Eckes for a second. And we had a really soft, awesome save between Nick Sanchez and I believe a couple other trucks, including Taylor Gray, because there was some really good racing going on behind. Eventually, though, a lap later, William Byron got by Corey Heim for the race lead and was able to get by with a few new laps to go in stage two. And William Byron would come off the corner and win stage number three. Then only lap cars would come down to row with William Byron winning the race off of basically coming in as a leader. But unfortunately, Stahl leaving his pit box and would drop to third position, hand the lead back to Corey Heim. So then on the next restart, you had Corey Heim lead the field from the outside with Christian Eckes on the inside. And we saw Christian Eckes get a really strong restart from Corey Heim and was able to take the race lead. Then on lap 101, <laughs> on lap 101 we saw a multi-car wreck coming down the front stretch where he had multiple cars get loose, including Nick Sanchez. And then behind him, Matt Craft and kind of came up front of Zane Smith. And unfortunately, Zane Smith, Colby Howard, and Chase Purdy crashed hard into the inside wall, bringing out the caution. I think that's on Matt Craft. And Matt Craft came up front of Zane Smith, and Zane really had nowhere to go. And unfortunately, all those other trucks got involved, bringing out the caution. And then on the next race, sorry, Christian Eckes lead the field from the inside with Corey Heim on the outside, and Christian Eckes is able to clear and get the race sleep. Then on lap 114, another caution would come out for contact between Carson Osmar and Roger Group. Roger Group just clearly kind of dumped Carson Osmar going in the corner. I don't think those two had issues before this moment, so it's really surprising to see. Roger gets in the back of Carson and ends up spraying him out, bringing out the caution. After this, pit stops are happening, and you see very surprisingly a kind of a bad strategy call. Corey Heim has, <coughs> has a really bad miscommunication, and he ends up staying out while the rest leaders come down pit road. And Taylor Gray actually ends up winning the race off of pit road. So then on the next restart, you had Corey Heim lead the field from the outside with Taylor Gray on the inside, and Taylor Gray was able to get a really, really strong run and get the lead, but Christian Eggers also was able to take it back from him. Meanwhile, Matt DeBendel was once again starting to have some problems with his issues, and unfortunately, those fuel pickup issues started coming into play. And then on lap 128, we saw a next caution come out for Lawless Allen, who was battling hard with Haley Deegan for 21st or 20th place, and get in the inside of Haley Deegan, and unfortunately, wrecked himself hard on the inside wall, bringing out the caution. Then we saw Haley Deegan and Colby Howard all decide to stay out and get basically no tires while everyone else came down pit road with Christian Eckes winning the race off pit road. So then on the restart, with 15 laps to go, you had Haley Deegan lead the field from the outside, with Colby Howard on the inside, and Haley had a good restart, but then Christian Eggers got a really, really strong run and was able to clear for the race lead. Meanwhile, you guys see had a three-car battle for the win, basically at this point, because they had Raj Group based in a three-wide up on the outside and jump up all the way up to third position. It came down to a three-car battle. You had William Byron and Christian Eggers, 
Christian being first, William Byron in second. And then you had Roger Kroof, who was coming really fast on really fresh tires and was catching the two leaders at rapid speeds, almost half a second faster on that time. And we thought Roger would have a chance to get the victory. Unfortunately, with two laps to go, Timmy Hill was spinning the inside and bring the caution out. Timmy just got loose going to turn number one and brought the caution out. Such a shame of setting up for a really compelling finish and just Timmy Hill to slots to go into corner. It's a shame because Timmy was having a really strong night before that. It's a shame he spun out, but he spun out and this was set up overtime. Because of that, Corey Heim, Colby Howard, and Haley Deegan would come down pit road while everyone else would stay out as he had sets of tires left. So on the first overtime restart, you have Christian Eckes lead the field from the inside with William Byron on the outside, and Christian Eckes is able to get a really, really strong run. Meanwhile, William Byron would get loose going to turn number one, stacking everybody up, and Jake Garcia wrecked on the bad stretch after restarting eighth. Basically hit the outside wall and inside wall and crashed hard, bringing out the final caution of this race. Well, the second to last caution. Jake Garcia was having one of his best races of the year. He was running in the top five a lot of the night. Such a shame. Made a little bit of a mistake. Had some contact as well. Just took him out of contention to win because he had a truck that he could have easily won. So then after that, on the final restart, you have Christian Eckes lead the field from the inside with Stuart Friesen on the outside. And we saw Christian Eckes get a really, really strong run. As we're coming to the white flag, Grant Enfinger and Nick Sanchez had some contact. And Grant hit the outside wall really, really hard. And sudden NASCAR letting it stay green like they've done a lot of times. They decided to go ahead and throw the caution. There's a lot of questions if they threw the caution and they were past the start finish line or if they had not gotten start past start finish line. Well, according to NASCAR, Christian Eckes had gone by the start finish line and he would come off the corner and pick up the victory. If you want my honest opinion on this, terrible call by NASCAR. Yes, I'll talk about it in a second, but they should have easily been able to finish this race. They should have been able to keep it green and not throw in the caution. They got trigger happy on the trigger finger. It was just a terrible and stupid move by NASCAR's part. And it's disappointing, too, because it was set up to be an incredible and fantastic finish. Just a disappointing call on NASCAR's part, and I'm definitely really, really frustrated from NASCAR's end. But in all seriousness, in all honesty, I do want to talk about the guy who won the race, Christian Eckes. Congratulations to Christian. Christian definitely had one of the best trucks. I don't know if he had the best truck, but it seemed like his truck was really, really good tonight. And that truck was very, very strong. And he has shown at times he's had a lot of great pace and a lot of great speed this season so far. So well done for him tonight. He absolutely, does, in my opinion, no doubt in my mind, that he absolutely deserved the win. He had a really strong truck tonight and gets a well-deserved victory. Because like I said, he was really, really good all night and did an incredible job. So congratulations to him on picking up the victory. In my opinion, a well-deserved dub for Christian Eckes this evening. Again, it's good to see Christian getting victories and doing a really, really good job. And I'm happy for Christian because, like I said, he's been an up-and-down season so far in the 2023 season. So congratulations to him on picking up the victory. And I think he's going to start winning a lot more races going forward this season. I think there's a lot more wins out heading his way. I think he's going to continue to be a contender. So congratulations to him on picking up the victory. I hope he continues to do that going forward. I'm going to take a look at the race results of today's race, and I'll give you my score for tonight's race. So Christian Eckes picks up the victory. Stuart Friesen finished second. Really strong run for Stewart tonight. Stewart had one of the best trucks in the field for sure this evening, so really good run for as well. He had a top five or top ten truck, but another really strong run for Stewart Friesen. How about Tanner Gray finishing third? He's had an up-and-down start to the 2023 truck season, but still a very solid run for him. William Byron finished his fourth great run for William Byron. William Byron was definitely one of the favorites coming into the event. I thought William was going to have a really strong chance to get the victory. He had one of the best trucks. Just that second to last restart cost him a shot and opportunity, but still a very good race for William Byron and good experience for Sunday. Carson Hosovar finished his fifth. Incredible comeback for Carson Hosovar. Carson had one of the best trucks, probably a really strong truck in the long run especially. That spin kind of cost him a shot at the win from Raja, but still, nonetheless, a really strong run for Carson. A great comeback. He finishes fifth. How about Roger Crew finishing sixth? Yes, he had the contact with Carson Osobar, and he did make a mistake right there. But he had a chance to win. And I feel like Roger Crew is really starting to show his potential, especially over the last couple of weeks. GMS has been bringing better trucks, especially for Grant and him. They've been showing a lot more pace and speed. And Roger gets a very fantastic run in sixth. I think the, run, the win is coming for Roger. He's been fast, and I think he's going to be a contender. How about Bubba Walls finishing seventh? Yes, I picked Bubba Walls coming into the weekend. That one truck was really good on the long run. One of the best trucks on the long run. They were terrible on pit road. The one truck team was like 23-11 last year on pit road before they made the pit crew changes. And they were terrible tonight. 
But Bubba Wall still rebounded and recovered and got a top 10. It's a shame he couldn't win, but still a very solid run for Bubba Walls. Corey Heim recovers safe after that terrible pick call strategy. Corey Heim definitely had one of the best trucks, probably the best truck to a lot of people. He's been really turning the season around, though. Last year, four races, he's been really good. Great run, though, for Corey Heim. Should have probably contended for the win. Terrible strategy call from the team. How about Dean Thompson finishing knife? Great run for Dean Thompson. You know, Dean Thompson has not had a really good year in 2023. So good to see Dean Thompson turn the corner with a top 10. And Caden Honeycutt finishes 10. Caden Honeycutt's definitely one of the most underrated drivers currently racing at the moment right now and deserves a full-time opportunity. He was run top 15 a lot of the night, too, so it's not just based off of luck. Yes, some luck came into play for him, but still, to finish in the top 10, great stuff. Nick Sanchez finished 11th. Nick had a top 5 truck early in the race, kind of fell back a little bit. Just the truck seemed to go away the farther we got into the run, but he finished his knife. A little disappointing for Nick, but still, not a terrible day, but could have definitely been better. Matt Crafton finished the 12th. I think the best finishing Thor Sport truck. Thor Sport was just completely off the pace all evening long. Matt Crafton gets the best finish for them. Just not a good night. Rosh and Saint finished the 13th. I'll be honest, I thought Rosh and Saint was going to be more of a contender tonight than he was. Nice has been up and down in 2023, but still not a bad run, but not a great run. A little, should be better runs for Ross when he's in the truck series. Grant Infinger, after the crash, finishes 14th. Grant had a really decent truck, not a great truck tonight. Probably had about 8th to 10th place truck a lot of the evening. He finished 14th. Tyler Ankrum, after his issues late in the race, he recovers to finish 15th. Not a bad run for him. Corey LaJoy thought it was a little more of a threat. I wasn't expecting Corey to be a contending, winning contender. I most certainly thought he was going to run better than he did. He finishes 16th. Colby Harris and fresh tires. He finishes 17th, spun out, and still was able to cover a little bit. Ben Rose, who had a very uncharacteristically terrible night tonight, he finishes 18th. Daniel Dye finishes 19th. Haley Deegan finishes 20th. She did not have a good run tonight at all. There's no sugarcoating it. Yes, she did lead her first laps in the truck series, which is kind of impressive. But again, it was due to strategy, not because of speed. Thor Sport just was not up to speed at all. They were all terrible this evening. Good to see her get a top 20. She's been consistently finishing the top 20, but still, you got to run a little better if you're a Thor Sport truck. But again, Thor Sport was not very good tonight at all. Taylor Gray finishes 21st, got some damage late. It's a shame he had a truck that kind of was contending for the win. It's a shame he didn't get a chance to contend. Zane Smith finished 22nd. Zane Smith was terrible. Worst run he's had all year. They were just terrible and were, for some reason, just completely off all weekend. Qualified terrible and race terrible. Just not a good run for Zane Smith. Brett Holmes finishes 23rd. Timmy Hill, before the spin, was having a very good night. He finishes 24th. Matty D, I want to talk about him. He had one of the best trucks in Sage 1. It was coming to the field and finished third in Sage 1. So I thought tonight he was going to have a chance to win. Truck fell apart, and they got to figure out the reliability issues at that team because if they can figure that out, this team is going to be setting themselves up for a really bright future. It's a shame he didn't get a better finish than he deserved, but he finishes 25th. Jake Garcia, after the crash, this kid's still going to be something special in the future. Just something went wrong for him tonight. He finishes 26th. Ryan Vargas finished 27th. Johnny Sauter finishes 28th. Chris Wright finished 29th. Wallace Allen, after crashing out, finishes 30th. Ty Majeski, after his power steering issues, he finishes 31st. Still got back on the track, though. Chase Purdy finishes 32nd. Spencer Boyd finishes 33rd. Park Clearman, after falling out of the race, he finishes 34th. Dawson Cramp finishes 35th. And Brennan Poole finishes last in 36th. So now I'm going to talk about the overall race as a whole, and I'll give you my score for tonight's race. Before the last few overtimes, this is going to be a contending for an 8 or 9 out of 10. It was absolutely outstanding in that portion. Great racing up front. Great battles for the lead. It was compelling. I love the long green flag runs. You saw the guys that were good on the short run and guys that are in ladies who were good on the long run as well. And that was very compelling. The ending, though, was not very good. It was not great, in my opinion. Terrible calls, bunch of wrecks that were not needed, and NASCAR probably should not have thrown the caution for the Tammy L spin, and then they ended the race on a very, very sour note. Before then, I would have given eight and nine and nine. For because of the ending of this race, I'm giving this race a seven and a half. Like I said, most of this race is really, really good, but the way this race ended and how NASCAR kind of butchered the calls with the truck series and how they've been this year especially, I have to drop a score. And it's a shame too, because this is definitely the best truck race I think of the year so far that we had. And it's a shame that NASCAR ended it like this because this was embarrassing for the Truck Series the way they ended it. So that is where tonight's Truck Series race review from Darlington Raceway. One well, thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe to the channel. Notifications on so if I win a video, does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And support me on Patreon as well. Link description below with that. And comment your thoughts below on tonight's race. 
What are your thoughts on tonight's race? Let me know below. Let me know your score in the comments below. And congratulate Christian Eckes on picking up his second victory in the Truck Series this season. So anyways, like I said, we got a lot of content coming out on the channel as well. We've got, of course, tomorrow the NASCAR Mini Series race review. Then on Sunday, we've got the Cup Series race review. Then we got a lot of content revolving around North Wilkesboro <coughs> dropping on the channel. Should be pretty exciting. So anyways, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching tonight's episode. And I'll see you guys next time for more great, awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.